Hey, Coach, what did you think of the, the ball, like the passes tonight, the ball movement, just overall? I thought stretches, it was good. I think it was a good first step. I thought, uh, you know, the things we wanted to see, we did. Russell's in a pretty good place, and he'll just be better from here. Uh, James seems to be clicking. So, um, you know, as we keep playing, we just see the areas we got to get better at, and uh, it's definitely doable. We know that, and uh, we just got to keep, keep going. We'll see Sunday what we can do Sunday. Jonathan Fagan. Hey, how did you feel Russ looked uh, for a guy who's just been around for a few days and just had a couple practices? Looked pretty athletic, didn't he? That's weird. <laughs> he uh, must have been working on his athleticism. Uh, good. You know, we've had a few turnovers, and Russ had a couple, but everybody had them. That's legs and uh, just being rusty. But uh, I thought we went through stretches, good ball movement, and wide open shots, just missed our shots. And uh, I thought defensively, certain stretches really good. Maybe they can the rebound or whatever. So those are things we just got to get better. And we know it, and uh, that's what we're going to work on. In, in, go ahead, Tracy. I'm good. Mark Medina. Hey, Mike. Mark, is up? Hey, well, what was the light pressure on the mask? Good. The referees can't tell who what I'm saying. That's good. Uh, <laughs> it's good. I mean, you know, it's. Uh, I think it's important. I think it's important to uh, – you know, Houston right now is uh, a lot of the countries should be matched up. And uh, we do it for Houston, we do it for you, and I do it for my players, and I do it for my coaches. And, uh, and I just feel like it's a thing to do right now where we are as country wise. Michael Shapiro. Hey, Coach. Uh, how do you think that Eric Gordon looked tonight? And what do you think will ultimately be one of the deciding factors between him or Daniel House in the starting lineup once we get regular season games started? We don't have a deciding factor. That's where we'll start there. So that fact is uh, That's how we're going to go. And it uh, doesn't really matter. I mean, we have play 30 minutes in football, whether it's such or whether it's done. He's younger, so he can play 30 minutes within a 36 minute game because if you don't start, you lose those minutes, and you're resting for no reason. Eric, uh, we're, we need him to be able to start for that reason, and, and also to bring him out so he's fresh when he gets back in and muscle. But it doesn't really matter. And how do you think Eric looked tonight? But, I mean, I, you know, he's getting his legs. He didn't make a lot of shots, but uh, uh, Eric's going to be good. Mark Berman. Mike, did uh, anything about what Russ was able to do tonight surprise you in any way? Uh, no, he did that the very first practice. He came in and it seemed like he missed a beat. And uh, no, he's, he's coming at you and you know his game. And, uh, he's, just, he's just a freakish athlete that plays with uh, his heart. You know, it's, good. it's fun to be on his side. Ali Khan Bajani. Hey, Coach, um, just wanted your thoughts on the way you thought your team played um, it with pace tonight in transition. And uh, how important it is to not only play with pace, but make sure you're in the right positions, especially with the spacing? Well, that's, that's the whole key, and be able to get uh, create a room for James and uh, Russell and, and know when to move and not to move. And those are that feel that you have to have. We keep talking about working on it. That was good. I thought so. a ball move was really good. So didn't end up uh, maybe making a shot sometimes. And, a little deflating, but uh, um, I think overall, it was, like I said, a good start. Maybe a couple too many turnovers uh, in the first half, but uh, when we played, it was, it was good. And the biggest thing about these games is that getting guys' legs and then getting good film to be able to learn from what we need to do and uh, uh, move forward. Jonathan Fagan. Mike, was Damari Carroll available for you tonight? Who? Damari. Demar, uh, eh, not really. He's uh, he tweaked his hamstring uh, all week, and he practiced a little bit yesterday. And, you know, I, he was sitting there for a long time. I didn't feel like it was the best interest of if uh, I played him. Thank you. Saman Ali. Hey, Mike. Uh, do you treat a game like this kind of like the preseason in that? Yeah, definitely like the preseason. And, you know, there's certain things you look for. One is their legs, and one is just uh, 
uh, little things to piss with the communication. You know, it's a, you know, playing out there, you hear everything. Tyson is invaluable. He's, he's quarterback in the defense from the bench. Uh, just things like that that we can, uh, you know, the shot's going to fall and we're, we're going to be fine and uh, just making sure our guys are physically ready to roll. And last one, Mark Medina. Mike, uh, what's your expectation of how long the process will be for all these guys? How do you approach that? Well, I think different teams will approach it different ways. Uh, you have different teams, different levels. Um, you'll have teams fighting, maybe to make the playoffs. You have teams you know, just trying to make sure everybody's ready after eight games. And uh, just because it's not a great home court advantage, so. Wherever you are in the standings, where you are, you might want a better matchup, maybe, but you don't know that. And, uh, I think it's just more important that most teams get their guys ready. And uh, now we have, what, like, uh, 10 more games, and that's when we have to be ready. Coach, we have one more. Taylor Rooks. Hi, Coach. We talk a lot about how different it is to play. How different has it been for you to coach out there? Oh, it's about like practice. It's about saying you hear everything and you can talk to the bench and uh, they hear you. And uh, um, it's actually, you know, I was talking to James and it's a great atmosphere. And Russell, it's, uh, it's fun to play there. Uh, this is pure basketball and you're hooping and uh, you're just dealing with other players and a little bit of banter going back and forth. It's pretty cool. Uh, they're used to it. So I think you're going to see some really good competition come out of it. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Mark.